My name's Ashley McKenzie. I do judo now for Jamaica. I'm under 60 kilograms. I'm a double Commonwealth champion. And I'm here to tell you about my wrestling experience. Here we go. I'm used to a judo car gym. Not no wrestling gym, not no jiu-jitsu gym. It's gonna be good, but I can't lie, I'm shitting myself. So I got there and people were on the mat for me. Yeah. So now I'm like looking and I'm like, I'm not trying to square up, but I'm like, I thought I'd have to walk with a bit of confidence, otherwise it's, it's a wrap for me from gay going in. This is mad. This smells like bad gym. I got turned up in my GB kit just to, just to kind of say, look, I might be new at this thing. I'm no amateur to the fighting game, you get me? So I tried to wear the best thing that I could do for them to be like, you know what, this ain't no, you ain't no joke, man, you get me? So that's what I tried. And then they're doing like these mad, like, like knee to toe kind of pull up kind of things. I'm so happy I wasn't in the front of the line because I didn't have a flipping Scooby Doo, bro. Like, I was like, what is this? I have two, I've been up on this. <laughs> this is where it gets all a bit complicated. He goes, all right, so go with a partner. So we're just doing takedowns and like doing these like one leg shoots as what I would say. You shoot for the leg, you take it down and lick in my head on the ground. No, no soft mats, just all, all landing. And I'm like, bro. And then we get into kind of like more scenarios where like you kind of take your back and that kind of confused the shit out of me. In judo, like, you, you you kind of, like, want to throw them over your back, do you know what I mean? So you want to turn in judo. You want to turn and get them on your shoulder and throw them. And now, I'm trying to get behind their back. Right, I, I, I said, you see, some people used to try and do that with me. Cool. I do that. Fine, if you're strong enough. But I guarantee, on the time, me trying to do that is going to be hard. Unless I build that little frame first. Gives me a, a few good six inches. You're here around this position. Now you're going to go to the fight and the hip. Create that space for your head. Yes, bro. By five minutes doing that, I'm breathing up my ass. This is fucking hard, I'm kind of like that. I'm struggling. Yeah. 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 I think for me, like, you can definitely use some elements of judo in the sense of like, I know you can't grip, but you can definitely hold the wrist and you can move them. But then your other hand would have to be somewhere amongst on their head where you can like move them for a coach to grab the leg so there was really like elements where you could like mix it in it was really nice he starts going oh we've got like seven five minutes and i'm like all right sweet like seven five minutes what we're fighting we're scrapping now some do out in the open some are going to go into war okay guys eight five minute round Guys, so like obviously if there's submission, someone takes a bad shot and you get choked out, you get choked out. Okay, we always wrestle for MMA. Okay, guys? So my first uh, fight was against the, the partner I was with and he's the Greco actual wrestling coach. It's like, no shit, Sherlock. If you want to give me the first fight, the hardest, thanks, you know what I mean, Sensei? In the beginning, I was a bit skeptical of like, how do I how do I do this? Do you know what I mean? And there was times when he kind of shot my leg and I kind of held him. There was a proud moment in this all of this scenario, is where I managed what I learned to take his back. And I'm sure you have it on camera when I turn around and I smile at you, like, and I'm like this. <laughs> There's times when he's took me down and I've literally, weirdly, just gone on my back. Because in judo, in my head, I'm like, cool, wrap the legs and it, it's not a score.
at points I was thinking, shit, I shouldn't be here. And he was looking at me like, are you really gonna stay here? But I didn't, I didn't know. I realized, now this is actually a terrible position for you because you'd probably get grounded and pounded. But it was good just to, to, to muck about with what we learned and then to put it into practice. I, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like I picked it up. It definitely my first, but I picked it up fairly okay. For me, the intensity with a judo class and someone like that, like, it's two different sports, bro. We're talking about getting thrown on your back and it being over. That, that's it done. To get fucked up, your nose broken, and you're near enough dying. Someone who's new to judo uses a lot more energy when they're like pulling and pushing because they don't know. Where with them boys, I can tell, especially when I start moving on to Parad, I can tell he was relaxing when he needed to relax. I could not lie to you. I was tensed for the whole five minutes. Wish me luck. Don't let Brad fool you with his age and shit, yeah? I don't know what he's, what protein shakes he takes. But bro, the guy is wham. When I mean, I'm talking wham. In the first, again, minute, I would say minute, and then I kind of clocked onto what he was doing. He was attacking me and I was defending. But he had me on his cage and it felt that all I was doing is getting crushed. Crushed and he was, he was, he was demoralising me. One point, the man disrespected me so much. He got on top of me, yeah, and he was like, "UFC," and he, he went like this to the mat, not even my head. He went like, "Bosh." <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Brad, but bro, he disrespected me, man. He indicated to me fully well that I could chop your nose up with my elbow right now. I'm not gonna do it because you're a fairy and you're a white belt in this sport. That's basically what he said to me. My man just taught me how to be a bitch. <laughs> wow. Obviously, fighting Kavanaugh, in the nicest way, I think it was more even in a sense of like, I don't know if we even caught each other, but I know it's like very strong times when he shot for my leg and I, and I was able to stop it and then I'd get him and like I'd maybe sweep him and then he'd stop it. You know, and I think I, I was able to control it. Like, don't get me wrong, if he was allowed to put, like, swinging arms and swinging legs, it'd probably be a bit more over for me, you know? I, it was 100% a lot more even, and I don't know if it, it'd be fair to say on his behalf if he felt the same, because that's like me getting a judo player and mucking about with them, and then saying, oh yeah, it's, we, we were very even. He could have been mucking about with me, you know? And you could tell he's a really good fighter. You could tell that where he was stepping and what he was doing, he knew he knew, and he and he was patient as well. well I'm not patient. Also, guys, we had a, uh, Ashley came down here today. Uh, great, great Britain Olympic judo player. You know, enjoy today. Yeah, it's fucking yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, like it is, but this is the thing. It's like you understand if you, if you share the mat with someone of Olympic level, you know, it, it kind of shows you what we do in this game is completely different. You know, we, we are a high level team here, and we have a high level skill set. So after we done the fighting, um, I went on the pads. Uh, with Brad. Have you done any strike? Yeah, I've done a tiny. Actually, the most tiny. Someone from taking you down on like the side of that cage, and then you go into like, after all of that, you go into boxing. It's like, bro, you've got to be an ultimate fighter. I always explain this when you're throwing anything, they get proper talk in it. Watch me rotate. Rotate. I, when I throw a jab, I just do this with a rotate. And see, when I rotate, I bring my shoulder up, I pick my chin, and bring my head up that center line. I'm not doing this, my head in the same place. I'm just like, boom. 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 And that's why I respect everyone who does MMA, because it's not only that you've got to be so calm and collective, but you also got to know a bit of jiu jitsu a bit of judo, a bit of takedown, a bit of wrestling, and then boxing to like top it all off. Coming from me being like a double Commonwealth medalist, arguably one of the best in Britain that men's ever had last 10 years. I think the kind of person you have to be is someone Strong-minded, you've got to be willing to go through struggles and pain to ever make it MMA. I think for me, 
to wrap the whole session up and driving on the way home, it's, you ask yourself, I've done all right, Brad a bit, I've done all right, and Kavanaugh, could I do it? You know? Well, what I could tell you is I've definitely smashed up them YouTubers. <laughs>